So these awards are all based on nominations from across the college. Most are evaluated for, uh, by the NETSI Awards Committee, and that's a new award committee that you just approved in the bylaws. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's NATSI and the Center for Integrative Studies also has a couple of awards that are listed here too. So we're going to get started with the NATSI Outstanding Faculty Award and these awards go to senior faculty members in recognition of outstanding contributions in scholarly research and teaching to the college and the university. This year we have four recipients and the first recipient is Robert Malechka from the Department of Chemistry. Professor Malechka is an internationally recognized chemist who has contributed on numerous fronts in chemistry and especially noted for his contributions to the field of synthetic chemistry with a focus on developing green reactions and strategies involving organoboranes, organosilanes, and organostenanes. His group works towards the synthesis of pharmaceutically, uh, pharmaceutically relevant molecules and natural products and the invention of new reactions and strategies in organic synthesis. His service record is exemplary, including service as chair of the Department of Chemistry for many years. Congratulations. Our second uh, awardee today is uh, Francis Trail from the Plant Biology Department. <laughs> Professor Trail is known for her pioneering and innovative and internationally recognized research on the fusarium head blight pathogen of grain crops. This fungal pathogen affects the quality and safety of grains in the US and in wheat growing areas around the world. Outside of her research, she has had many important impacts in research, teaching, and mentoring, both at and beyond Michigan State. She was also recognized by awards as a fellow of the American Phytopathological Society and the William H. Weston Award for Excellence in Teaching by the Mycological Society of America. Congratulations, Francis. Our third award winner today is uh, Jay Wei. Professor Jay Wei is a leader of the Accelerator Physics Group in EFRED and is part of the PA department. This award recognizes his pivotal role and exceptional contributions to the development, construction, and commissioning of EFRED, the first superconducting continuous wave linac for the heaviest ions above, ions above 200 MeV per nucleon and for the advancement of accelerator science and technology at Michigan State and across the country. Congratulations, Jay. And our fourth recipient is Angela Wilson. Dr. Wilson, the John A. Hanna Distinguished Professor of Chemistry, is an international leader in quantum chemistry. Dr. Wilson was named one of the five most influential women chemists and one of the 40 most influential women in STEM during the last decade. She has held a variety of international leadership roles, including her current role as President of the American Chemical Society. For her significant accomplishments as an acclaimed research leader, a leader in national and international scientific organizations, a committed mentor, and her commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, she is richly deserving of this award. Next, we have several award categories that we established last year to recognize and acknowledge faculty members at all levels. In fact, this was Angela's idea, by the way. <laughs> the first of these awards 
<coughs> is the Research Leadership Award that will be given each year to recognize NatSci tenured professors uh, for outstanding, impactful research and internationally recognized leadership in the field. There are two recipients this year. The first is Alex Brown from the Physics and Astronomy Department. As a key member of the physics department faculty since the mid-80s, Professor Brown's research has helped Michigan State rise to the premier university conducting nuclear physics research in the United States. His research focuses on theoretical studies of nuclear structure uh, using the shell model and in close collaboration with experimentalists. His impact and productivity as a researcher is incredible and is marked by more than 600 refereed publications with more than 100 of them in Physical re Review Letters, the leading physics journal. His work has more than 50,000 citations, and his H index is 110. Our second winner of the Leadership Award is Jiming Jiang from the Plant Biology Department. <laughs> Professor Jiang is a world-renowned plant biologist, cytologist, and molecular biologist who has consistently made seminal discoveries in both basic and applied plant sciences. He has published over 225 papers, has been cited over 33,000 times, and has an H index of 86. This makes him one of the most highly cited active researchers, not only on this campus, but among the best plant scientists internationally. His service record in the plant biology community is exemplary, serving as the interim chair of plant biology and serving on multiple editorial boards and review panels in his research community. The next category of research awards is the Mid-Career Research Award. This award is given each year to recognize NatSci tenured faculty for outstanding research. The awards are based on success and impactful publications, funding, and other criteria that demonstrate excellence and promise in the awardees field. This year we have two recipients. The first is Shannon Manning from the Department of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics. Professor Manning's laboratory studies the molecular epidemiology and evolutionary genetics of infectious diseases. To answer questions about pathogenesis, emergence, viral, uh, virulence, and evolution and transmission of pathogens in human and animal populations. Dr. Manning has published more than 90 peer-reviewed publications and has written six book chapters. She is a leading figure in the field. Our next winner uh, is Shinhan Xiu. Professor Shinhan Xiu has shown an unusually rich, a rich mixture of research leadership, dedication to teaching at the undergraduate and graduate levels, and service to the local and international science communities. His lab studies genome evolution, regulatory mechanisms, particularly under environmental stress, genetic and molecular bases of traits, and predictive biology using machine learning. He is also program director of the $3 million NSF graduate training program, NRT Impacts. Congratulations, Shinha. Uh, we now have two awards in the category of Early Career Research Award. This award will be given each year to recognize NatSci tenure track faculty for outstanding research. The awards are based on success in publications, funding, and other criteria that signify excellence and promise in the awardees field. There are two recipients again this year. The first recipient is Kendall Mann from the Physics and Astronomy Department. She's not attending, but we should give her a clap anyway.
Professor Mann is the lead PI in a recent $2 million Department of Energy training grant. She holds critical roles in several large projects in her research field, and she was a Sloan Research Fellow. Moreover, she is consistently a force for good, combining a strong commitment to DEI in her communities with the organizational skills necessary to get things done. Our next Early Career Award winner is Phoebe Zarnetsky from Integrated Biology. <laughs> Professor Zarnetsky is a broad thinker and rising leader investigating the effects of climate change on biodiversity, as well as the responses and potential, uh, potential resilience of biodiversity to climate change. Her research addresses complex questions that go beyond documenting climate change effects on individual species to investigating effects on biological communities and how climate change may change these communities. Congratulations, Phoebe. <laughs> Our next award is the Natsai Teacher Scholar Award. Uh, and this award goes to assistant and associate professors for their outstanding contributions to teaching and scholarly research. There are two recipients this year. The first recipient is Sophia Lunt from the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Department. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Lunt's research group focuses on understanding the role of metabolism in supporting cancer proliferation, heterogeneity, and metastasis. She has already established prolific and impactful research record in the field, and her TEDx MSU talk has been viewed by over 1.5 million viewers. She is dedicated to educating the community on the fundamental importance of cancer research and the role of metabolomics. Professor Lunt is also an exceptional mentor who has successfully mentored three postdoctoral scholars, seven graduate students, and eight undergraduate researchers. Congratulations. <laughs> Our second Teacher Scholar Award winner this year is Brent Nelson from the Mathematics Department. <laughs> Professor Nelson of MSU Math Mathematics is an expert on operator algebras and free probability theory. A recipient of the J. Sutherland uh, uh, Frame Teaching Award from Mathematics, he is recognized as a superb teacher of mathematics and for a dedication to promoting diversity and inclusion in the classroom and in the mathematics community. The groundwork for Operator Algebra Lecture Series, Goals, which he co-organizes, is a model for how mentoring, research, and teaching can be combined to make cutting-edge research accessible to a diverse group of students. Okay, so now the, the next awards we're going to look at are the Natsai Undergraduate Teaching Award. And our first recipient uh, is Kevin Howdeck from Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. <laughs> Professor Howdeck is an outstanding teacher and scholar of teaching in the BMB department. His work is characterized by a high level of administrative effectiveness in working with a diverse set of faculty on his teaching team. Achievement of instruct, uh, instructional objectives <coughs> on the basis of class performance and student feedback, and scholarship in terms of many publications in STEM education journals, and success in securing research funding. He has brought over $4.4 million so far to Michigan State for this research. He is a very influential teacher and scholar at Michigan State and in the broader community. Our second uh, award winner in this category is Jadeep Singh from the Physics and Astronomy Department and FRIB. He's not attending today, but we can give him a clap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Professor Singh is a dedicated teacher scholar in the Department of Physics and Astronomy and EFRIB. He is an outstanding researcher and a wonderful colleague who is deeply committed to teaching. He is thoughtful and unfailingly generous with his time and is committed to implementing evidence-based approaches and methods to improve the learning experience for diverse learners. So our next category of award is the Natsai Junior Faculty Mentoring Award. This award goes to faculty members who have made outstanding contributions to mentoring junior faculty members throughout their academic career. And our first winner today is Amy Rolston from the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Department. <laughs> Professor Rolston is an exemplary mentor in every aspect. Her outstanding mentoring ability has been recognized by her department as, uh, by being appointed chair of their mentoring committee. In addition, during the COVID-19 crisis, she spearheaded an effort called Sew for Science, which was a grassroots effort to sew cloth masks, which were given to students in need. They were also made available for sale to raise money to support students in financial crisis because of COVID. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Our second mentoring award is the Natsai Postdoctoral uh, Mentoring Award. This award goes to faculty members who have made outstanding contributions to the effective mentoring of postdoctoral researchers in both professional development and holistic balance. The winner of this award this year is Diane Ebert May from the Plant Biology Department. <laughs> Professor Ebert May has dedicated her entire career to improving the quality of students' learning at all levels by empowering teachers to become more effective in their classrooms. However, it is her laser focus on connecting the specific needs of postdocs and now graduate students, combined with her expansive uh, reach that elevates her to the level of master postdoctoral mentor. Her aim is always to promote a mentee's success, ensure positive outcomes, and instill confidence in their ability to achieve. Thank you. Our next award is the Natsai Distinguished Staff Award. This goes to academic staff members for outstanding contributions to improving the success of students in the college. The award winner this year is Catherine Severin from the Department of Chemistry. <laughs> for more than two decades, Professor Severin has brought excellence and innovation to the students fortunate enough to take her advanced chemistry classes. Catherine is deeply dedicated to her profession. She has a genuine interest in promoting chemistry to the public and in trying to stimulate young people, especially women, to choose careers in science. Thank you, Catherine. The next award is the Natsai Outstanding Undergraduate Advisor Award. These go to faculty members or academic staff for their outstanding service as advisors. It is awarded by the Natsai Student Advisory Council. Our award winner this year is Shibra Onchiri from the Department of Chemistry. <laughs> Dr. Onchiri is always willing to help and to accommodate students on activities that go beyond her duties as an advisor, including offering help and support in times of need. She is kind, empathic, and a wonderful person. Her supportive environment within the chemistry department allows her advisees to resolve difficult situations that may arise. Thank you. <laughs> The next award is the Natsai Outstanding Graduate Advisor Award. These go to faculty members or academic staff for their outstanding commitment and dedication to student success at the graduate level. They award, uh, are awarded by the Natsai Graduate Student Advisory Council. 
The winner this year is Remco Zegas from Physics and Astronomy. For many years, Professor Zegers has been an excellent mentor and advisor for grad students in physics and astronomy, culminating in his current role as associate chair for graduate studies. He cares about his students and gives them time to discuss any issue they may have in their academic progress. He is very understanding and caring and works hard to ensure that students and future scientists always have a pathway to success. Thank you, Remco. The next award is the NatSci Support Staff Award. This award goes to staff members who have exceptional job performance and contributions that have improved the college and university's ability to fulfill its missions. There are two recipients this year. The first recipient is Julie Pasega from CISGS. Julie's initial 28 years of MSU service has been in the health team, so moving to an academic unit was an abrupt change. It never phased her. <laughs> she quickly took on the roles and responsibilities of both the retiring, <coughs> retiring, both, retiring office staff. Okay, yeah. Um, Julie, <laughs> Julie is now our academic staff, our human resources manager, and our budget officer. Over the course of the past seven years, Julie has become an essential element to the successful operation of CISGS. She has helped our unit to become much more efficient in all that we do. She is an outstanding member of our team. Her supportive nature and positive attitude have helped foster a sense of community and belonging. This is for our faculty, staff and students. Our second winner of the NatSci Support Staff Award is Tiffany Scott from the Department of Chemistry. <laughs> Tiffany took on supervision of chemistry's administrati administrative suite in April of 2021 with grace and confidence, quickly assuming her role of authority with a group of staff that she was once a member of herself. She is well received and respected by those who report to her and she is building a knowledgeable, dynamic team to carry chemistry forward in a positive light for the foreseeable future. Tiffany has mastered a variety of tasks in her short stint in chemistry and we are fortunate she has been part of our team for the past seven years and even more fortunate she is willing to continue in her efforts in chemistry. Thank you, Tiffany. The next two awards are NatSci Excellence in Teaching Awards. These go to instructors and teaching assistants who have distinguished themselves in undergraduate classroom teaching. The first award is to S. Kevin McCormick, who is an instructor in uh, iBio and BioSci. <laughs> Kevin is truly an inspirational educator dedicated to the success of his students and to the advancement of science throughout STEM education. He is poised to be a leader in this field and address the challenges we as educators in the STEM disciplines face. To prepare the next generation of life scientists, educators, and citizens. Congratulations. <laughs> Our second winner of this award is a graduate student award, and it goes to Joseph Reedy from Integrative Biology. <laughs> Joseph's enthusiasm for and sincere interest in student success is recognized not only by the faculty he teaches with, but also by his students. His ability to connect with and engage students, as well as his passion and enthusiasm for teaching, make him a standout graduate teaching assistant and he is most deserving of this excellence in teaching citation.
The next award um, is the NatSci Undergraduate Learning Assistant Award. This award is given in recognition of the care given and skills shown in meeting classroom responsibilities in the College of Natural Science by undergraduate students. There are two recipients this year. The first recipient is Ava Bassett from the Neuroscience Program. <laughs> Ava has been an excellent mentor to our students. She communicates and works well with her students and colleagues. As a mentor, Ava is a natural in guiding her students through the scientific process. She excelled in guiding her students through the lab exercises, assignments, and their research. At the weekly meetings, she took on a leadership role and acted as a mentor to the other ULAs, providing insight and student perspectives for the faculty as well as offering advice to other ULAs. Thank you. The second winner of this award is Christina Liu from Integrated Biology, who is not attending, but we should give her a clap and <laughs> read the citation. So Christina has shown exceptional potential as an educator and science communicator through this process. Her contributions are marked by her concern for the students' learning and welfare and her responsiveness. Likewise, her accessibility has helped the students translate the course content into terms that they understand. She does this all in a very approachable manner, which encourages student engagement uh, while maintaining rigor and accuracy. So the next set of uh, awards are the NatSci Faculty Teaching Prizes. These awards are made to fixed term and tenure stream faculty in recognition of excellent teaching. Nominations are made by the department chairs during the annual faculty raise process. This year we have four members re uh, receiving this award. And this is a nice award because it's a recurring salary raise. The first winner of this award this year is Michael Brown out of the Mathematics Department. <laughs> Professor Brown has been inextricably linked to the success of the Math Department's service teaching mission. He has been a transformative instructor since day one. Michael was initially hired to shepherd the courses that serve the mathematical needs of the students in the College of Education. His revisions to the courses involved including new topics, new ways for his students to make math relevant for their future students, both high school and elementary, and new ways to generate critical thought. His recent transformation of Math 102 has been truly remarkable and transformative, and I love the videos, by the way, they're great. Thank you. <laughs> Um, the next winner of this award is Kareen Higley from the BioSci program. <laughs> Professor Higley's enthusiasm and impactful teaching of biology includes creating an inclusive environment where students love to learn. He is committed to continuous improvement using evidence-based approaches to instruction and is highly skilled in connecting with and supporting his students. Thank you, Kareen. <laughs> Our third award winner is Christina Kiyuski from Chemistry. <laughs> Professor Kiyuski engages her students individually to guide their learning and success. Her student-focused approach helps students overcome challenges to achieve their full potential. She has a unique ability to keep students engaged in the material by engaging them in interesting questions to encourage discussions that help the class correct any misconceptions that they might have. Congratulations. <laughs> and our fourth recipient of the prize this year is Dola Pathak from Statistics and Probability.
Professor Pathak is receiving this award for outstanding contributions to undergraduate statistics and data science education and as a course coordinator, instructor, curriculum developer, and mentor to faculty members, graduate students, and undergraduate learning assistants. Her work is highly impactful for students in statistics and data science across Michigan State. Thank you. The next four awards are given by the college's Center for Integrative Studies in General Science. And the first award is the Lorena Blinn Endowed Teaching Award. This award goes to a faculty member whose expertise in teaching and in uh, advancing pedagogy uh, and in the educational efforts uh, provided by CISGS. And the first winner of this award is Matt Oney for excellence. <laughs> He's winning this award for excellence in the classroom, participation in CISGS curricula initiatives, the leadership you provide in the integrative science education programming, and the certification in teaching college science and mathematics. We also wanted to bring attention to and celebrate your very significant efforts related to the creation of a new secondary science education major. This is in partnership with the College of Education. We are very excited to see this new initiative take shape in support of future secondary science teachers. The second award out of CISGS is the James D. Heshley Endowed Teaching Award. This award recognizes outstanding teaching in integrative studies. And it's uh, awarded to Scott Winterstein from Fisheries and Wildlife. <laughs> it's awarded for outstanding classroom instruction, valuable participation in CISGS curricula initiatives, and for years of collaborative service to the ISB, ISP mission and programming. You are truly a valued member of the CISGS team. Thank you. Our next winner is uh, going to take home the Ronald W. Wilson Endowed Teaching Award. This award goes to a faculty or staff member for outstanding contributions to teaching and scholarship in integrative studies. The award winner this year is Rachel Lund, who is in the mathematics department. <laughs> this honor is typically reserved for faculty who teach in ISB, ISE, or ISP. We, however, wanted to express our appreciation for all the work that Professor Lund has put forward to help embed quantitative literacy into the fabric of our ISB and ISP lecture and lab courses. The synergies developed between Math 101 and the ISB, ISP lecture and lab courses is unique across campus. Thank you so much for all of your collaborative efforts and for all that you do on behalf of the Center and our students. Next award is the Harlow Mervyn Moore Memorial Excellence in Teaching Award. This award is given to teaching assistants in recognition of outstanding contributions to the improvement of undergraduate education in integrative studies. The winners of this award are not here today. They are Sierra Caston and Jack Schulte from the Physics and Astronomy Department. So we'll give them a clap anyway. Their award is for excellence in the classroom and consistent willingness to go above and beyond on behalf of students and our ISB programming. In particular, we want to thank you for your extensive efforts and support of curricular reform in the ISB 205 lab program. The positive student feedback is very exciting. We have one more award. The last but not the least uh, is the Norman L. and Olga K. Fritz Excellence in Teaching Award. This is a pretty lucrative award for those of you who want to apply for it. <laughs> this award is open to teaching faculty of any rank, fixed term or tenure, 
and recipients are selected by the College of Natural Science Awards Committee with student input. This award was established to honor and encourage individuals who have exhibited excellence in teaching in the College of Natural Science, especially in physics math and mathematics. The winner of this award this year is Devin Sylvia from CMSE. <laughs> Professor Sylvia is an excellent and committed instructor who provides high quality educational experiences and support to the students in CMSE courses. His impact on education goes far beyond the courses and students that he teaches, including advising and curriculum development. We are very fortunate to have him as a colleague, and he's a highly deserving of this award. <laughs> thanks to all of you being here, and thanks to all of the, and congratulations to all of the award winners. This concludes our annual meeting and awards ceremony. Please join us for the awards reception just outside of this classroom and continue celebrating with our award winners.